Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another 12 days of Christmas video. Today we are making gingerbread salt dough um, ornaments and I am showing you guys up close everything that we will be using. I will also have the recipe linked down below in the description box for easy reference. But this is everything. I picked up these little um, cutters from Target. They're the Threshold brand. Brooklyn wanted to do a reindeer and um, a bell, um, stocking, sorry. And then I'm going to go over to my oven and preheat it. I have paper out and a pan laid out as well, but I'm going to preheat the oven to 250 because these ornaments need to bake for two hours. Hi guys, Hi welcome guys. back to our channel. <laughs> Today we are going to be making gingerbread oh, salt oh, dough oh, oh, cookies. A, a salt cookie and, 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 and dots. Yes. Um, don't, this is my assistant, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, how old are you? Three, Six. almost four, right? Almost four, I just to say my birthday. Okay, um, don't mind her, she spilled a little hot cocoa on her nightgown, but we are going to roll with it. So and we're going to be making, I'm making is this is rabbit circle. Okay, we're going to be making easy salt dough, gingerbread, gingerbread. recipe. We got out the KitchenAid. To be honest, I never hardly get this thing out, but she's out, and we are gonna add all the ingredients. So first thing we're gonna add is, um, we have all the dry ingredients. So one cup of flour. Yeah. There we go. Okay, no, no, it's so not okay. Um, A half a cup of salt. Good job. Oh, no. That's good. There you go. And then in this bowl, we did one teaspoon of cloves, two tablespoons of cinnamon, and two tablespoons of ginger. Uh, Let's add that in. Uh, hold on. It's the top top. Okay, add that one. I, I get that. Okay. And then on our KitchenAid, we just have our dough hook. I'm gonna add in this little shield and we're gonna bring it up. And then we're gonna just stir it really slow. because I read the instructions and it needed the whisk instead of the dough hook. So don't use the dough hook. Actually follow the um, directions, which I, I will have. Water. Yeah, which I will have linked down below. I'm, okay. I'm a piece, piece here. This is going to be really loud, so I'll tell you guys what we're going to do. We are going to add in water, a half a cup of water, very, very slowly to our mixture. So we're going to do that, but it's going to be loud and you guys aren't going to be able to hear us. So let's start that. back. 
Our dough is a little bit sticky, so I'm actually going to flour. become quite the pro. She's doing it without even me. And I would say these are probably the best thickness, but I'm letting her do them. So we will just go with it. Right, Brookie? I do it. Yeah. I, it's, it's one spot here. Okay. So she's just rolling up dough. Okay. Right. She's going to do a poke the hole. There you go. But she's just rolling up the rest of the dough like she does Play-Doh at school, right? Yep. Yep. 